A very, very good afternoon to you, dear prayer family. Welcome to this hour of great mercy to pray the chaplet of divine mercy. I hope you've all got your rosaries ready. Um, I do know at times I'm just praying with my fingers, but you know what? I, I get lost. <laughs> so uh, if you're like me, <laughs> get yourself a rosary. Uh, even a decade rosary makes me get lost. So anyway, welcome, welcome. Let's together once again pray for safety in our families, pray for peace in our world, and as mentioned by Marilyn, pray for the safety of the people of Myanmar. And we pray for all Myanmar's people, all uh, missionaries who are working there, uh, all aid workers working there, we pray for them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, O unfathomable divine mercy, envelope the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In today's diary note, In today's diary note, these words in my soul, go to Mother General Michael and tell her that this thing displeases me in such and such a house. I cannot mention what the thing was, nor the house in question, but I did tell it to Mother General, although it cost me very much. Now, I must tell you a bit about myself way, way back when I was uh, Young woman, <laughs> I, I felt a great sense of um, responsibility, perhaps being a firstborn, I don't know, but a great sense of responsibility for everything around me. If I saw something that's not right, I, I naturally want to put it right. I am a solution thinker. I straight away would see the problem and find a solution. And if I could not find a solution, I'll I'll ask somebody how, and we will find a solution together. But uh, years later, I realized that sometimes I, I'm the one who sees the problem, but other people don't see it as a problem. They see it as no problem, no issue at all. And they continue with what they do. But when I, 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 no I notice that when there's a difference in opinion, Sometimes, you know, in my younger days, I would feel um, there is injustice or I might feel there's, <laughs> sometimes I feel there's stupidity <laughs> on their part and on my part. <laughs> and um, what, what is right and what is not right? Only God can make it right if it was not right. And in fact, only God has the full story, has the full um, accuracy of how right it is. Uh, and very often our sense of righteousness can be due to our own experience, can also be due to our own wounds. So if, for example, if I had been beaten as a child, uh, I was punished uh, for things I did and I was 
beat up by a ruler, for example, not that it ever happened to me, but for example, and if I saw another child being beaten up by an elder or an adult, I will feel a greater sense of righteousness to step in because I had experienced it, I felt the hurt for it, I feel wounded for it, I felt, so I, I would step in. And something else that would be um, very, very terrible may not affect me as much personally. So in this case of what St. Faustina wrote, it wasn't what she felt. It wasn't from her own experience. It wasn't from her own woundedness. It was something she heard in her soul. And what she heard was the, this um, direction to go to the mother general and tell her what was displeasing in that house. Why she couldn't say, I don't know, maybe she had forgotten, maybe she didn't want to write everything down, we don't know. But what we do know is this, that she said, when I did tell the Mother General, it cost me very much. What was the cost? It could be humiliation, it could be being put down, uh, it could be awkward stares, it could be a a lot of things. But what was important was this. Remember what we heard yesterday and the day before? It said that she was willing to go through the passion, although she would face humiliation, she would face judgment, she would face a lot of um, stares, she might be judged. Still, she said she would say her yes. That's exactly what Our Lady did. Well, Our Lady did much more, of course. Our Lady said her yes from the time of Annunciation all the way to the end of her life. She said yes to Jesus' death and suffering. Not, not that she was a sadist, um, but that she agreed completely with the Lord's will. She knew that the only way to live life was to, ans was to live it according to God's will. And so she joined her will to God's will, like a Velcro, pasted, never to be separated. God's will, nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. And that's what St. Faustina tried to do. She went, she said what she needed to say, and I'm sure it, I, I tell you something, nobody likes to be, um, Nobody likes to be corrected. Very few people, those who are very humble and teachable, will say, please correct me if I do anything wrong or tell me where I have wronged you. Not many, many people will do that. And so Mother General would have um, felt as if she did something wrong when it is the Lord who said, this displeases the Lord, this is happening in such a convent, in this location, and Mother General might have taken it personally. I don't know. But anyway, what we do know is that it cost St. Faustina very much. So, but yet she did, she did what the Lord told her to do. She acted with obedience. So today, let us imitate not just St. Faustina, but imitate the Lord. St. Faustina is imitating the Lord. She's imitating Our Lady to do obediently what the Lord says to do. It may be hard. It could be tricky. We might feel a lot of resistance. But if the Lord says to do it, just do it. Just do it. Let's pray. Uh, let's pray the opening prayers and prepare our hearts to pray the rest of the chaplet for all the things that are happening in our world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. There has been cases of um, pirates, terrorism, um, you know, on and on it shows what difficulties we face every day in our world. Let us pray for peace in our world. Let us pray against pirate attacks. Uh, let us pray against all sorts of attacks from the evil one. That we, you know, when we let our doors wide open, the enemy will come. But when we go to confession, when we, when we ask the Lord to cover us with His precious blood, when we stay within the sheepfold, we will be saved. Today I like to pray very specially for those who have no God in their lives, who have rejected the Lord, who do not want to have anything to do with God. Um, they may be governments, may be taking down crucifixes from the walls. Uh, Chris, Christian and Catholic schools uh, may be filled with atheists, agnostic teachers. So we continue to pray for um, the development of our faith, uh, for the nurturing of our children, that we may truly stay close to the Lord. Um, Sorry, I just had to find something I, I wrote down to pray for. Uh, a ship had lost propulsion and the ability to maintain direction was lost. And this ship hit a bridge in Baltimore, Baltimore Bridge. So let's pray for all those who have died, who are injured. Apparently when the bridge collapsed, cars and people fell into um, the waters. So we pray for those who are in that situation and we pray for God to help everyone who, who are in not just that situation but at sea. We pray for protection over all seamen, um, people who work at sea, people who are transporting um, ship cargoes. Let us pray for safety. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Oh my goodness, Tom Sickler says, please keep me in your prayers. I got into a car accident today. Oh my goodness, you're here still. Thanks be to God. Tom, he says, I'm okay, but my car, car may be towed. Totaled. Um, it wasn't my fault. I was not looking forward to having another car. Well, Tom, you're visiting your parents. I'm. I'm sure the Lord will provide for every everything that you need to get back, and I'm sure the Lord will help you. And I'm sure you're very shaken, being in a car accident. Um, thanks be to God, you're okay. I'm pretty sure the Lord 
has other plans for you and have protected you. Uh, please, let's all pray for Tom and for his situation. Um, and we also remember all those who are about to have an accident right now. We don't know who they are, but let's pray for each person so that they may be safe. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Let us pray for all those who are sick. We pray for healthy bodies, minds and spirits, for Pascal's family. And Tanya, how are you feeling? Um, we pray for good health for everyone. Please re remember to pray for my dad, who, is, um, who has other health issues. So we pray for grace for him. Most importantly, for him to um, trust in the Lord and surrender to the Lord. We also remember Marilyn for her complete healing. And today I felt the Holy Spirit telling me to pray for all who have mental health issues. Could be um, depression, anxiety, bipolar, um, other issues. I don't know them all, but mental health for, for those who are struggling with their mental health. and those who are unable to pray because of mental health. I know people who want to pray, have taken the rosary to their hands, but are unable to continuously utter the prayers in the way it's supposed to pray. You know, they, they want to pray and their strength is in the Lord. So let's pray for everyone who is in that situation. We also remember Delia and family and the daughter Frances. Let us pray. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. We pray for all the souls in purgatory. As St. Faustina had said, the souls in purgatory, she had a chance to see. She was led by her guardian angel there and she had the chance to see how terribly they were suffering. Let us pray for every person that we know who have died. Um, of course, very specially for our own ancestors, our own loved ones, and pray for them, for the repose of their souls, for them to get to heaven. 
and don't worry your prayers will always go answered for souls in purgatory but sometimes is that the soul while on earth had um, made choices that would have kept them there a bit longer so nobody really knows well God knows but we don't know so let's keep praying keep praying keep praying for them and that, um, that these souls will get to heaven quickly to get out of suffering for the sake of his sorrowful passion 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 eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world we pray for all grieving families all those who have lost their loved ones through war through suicide very specially yesterday i also felt to pray for all those who have opted for euthanasia and suicide um, it's it's very sudden sometimes without saying goodbye and it affects everyone involved even acquaintances i've got i know a few people not who are not close to me but who have died because of suicide and it affects me so much even till this day after 20 years or more so let's pray for all who uh, are affected for for the grieving families very specially for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world let's pray this last decade for our church for this holy week um, as you know there are many who don't attend church weekly and father was just telling me the other day saying he has to uh, he, he would be accom he accompanies people who are getting married you know he would fill up some form ask them questions and one of them is whether they attend church they said yes yes we attend church and he would say oh uh, which church do you attend because he didn't see them in his church and they're getting married in his church he says yeah yeah we attend church once a year on good friday and another time on Easter Sunday and a third time on Christmas Day so there are people who think they are doing the right thing by going three times a year but of course they do not know so we we remember Jesus's words forgive them O Lord for they do not know what they do uh, people live together without being married uh, at all so um, like I always say we're not there to judge you know let's pray for all marriages to be blessed in the church 
through the sacrament of holy matrimony. And let's continue to pray that couples will go to the church to uh, solemnize, to have the weddings blessed and be under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And like I've said before, you know, it's not an embarrassing situation. You only need witnesses, two witnesses, and that's it. And then um, we don't need a big do, you don't need a big dress. Just go, just go. Encourage your family who, who have not gone for a sacrament of matrimony. Just go, we receive many, many blessings. Okay, enough of my preaching. Let's pray for all families, for unity, harmony, and for more to avail themselves of the sacrament of matrimony. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion and on the whole world. O holy and eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us so that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, Jesus, King of mercy, Jesus, King of mercy, Saint Faustina, Pope Saint John Paul, Saint Joseph, guardian of families and patron saint of holy deaths, our mother of perpetual health, Saint Rupert, the Saint of the Day, and all the holy angels, guardian angels, and saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'd like to share about, truly, you know, God's ways are really not our ways. And we, we may think, we know what's going to happen. Well, this is going to happen. This is a natural progression if you do this. You end up here, you take the bus, you get there. <laughs> so, um, this happened where we were um, not at home, we were traveling overseas, and we had to extend the ticket to, to fly at a later date. So, we called the um, agency who booked our tickets, and they said, Oh, um, because there are two people traveling for administration, it's 250 plus 250. Then they will look at the tickets we want to purchase and we will have to pay the difference. Now, of course, we all know if you buy a ticket way in advance, you know, you buy it six months in advance, it will be cheaper, you know, same flight, than to buy it three weeks before, right? For example, you want to fly 1st of, Jan of June and you bought it at 1st of January, maybe you'll pay $2,000, for example. But if for that first same flight, you bought it um, mid-May, you have to pay a lot more for that same ticket because as the days go closer to the travel date, they just charge more, okay? It's unfair, no. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so we got in touch, so they said we have to pay the difference of the ticket and they asked which date we would like to go for. Um, so all in all, it would have been 1,000, I think $1,400 for two people. And um, we explained the situation. We had to extend and it was because of a, a sick relative and 
we we told how serious the situation was it was it was not to get them to be compassionate towards us but you know as a matter of telling them the information of why we needed to delay the flight and they said okay in that case we will waive off some admin charges and all in all instead of paying thousand over dollars they only charged us 400 something you see that's why I say it is only God who can move things to make things happen we we think yeah okay if we follow step by step we'll have to do this okay I don't like bargaining I don't like people to bargain with me uh, and yet God did the bargaining for us in a way bargaining God moved the pieces out of the way you know uh, and and God made it happen so 400 is like a third of the price thanks be to God for that you know God truly provides for all our needs and even that four hundred dollars that we needed to pay we we know that God will also provide for that so let's thank the Lord for every providence he's given us look we have close to where he's provided for that no we can't say because I bought it therefore I have it now God gave you the money to buy it God gave you the opportunity to see it God gave you the job or God gave you the finances to purchase it everything is God's grace every single thing nothing is from ourselves um, so let us continue to thank God let us continue to trust in him let us continue to say Jesus I trust in you please take care of everything give us a thumbs up at the bottom of this video somewhere let's continue to pray for one another and pray for all those who have asked us to pray we'll see you again tomorrow uh, tomorrow by the way is holy thursday we will continue to uh, live stream all throughout uh, this holy week so there will be no interruptions um, to join us uh, we we don't delete our video so in, in case our three o'clock is your three o'clock and you're going for the three o'clock service uh, don't worry if you want to catch up the video is always there uh, for you to pray with us again god bless you we will see you again tomorrow in the meantime stay safe be well pray until something happens push 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 god bless thank you for joining us Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. We pray live every single day. So join us again tomorrow. God, God bless, bless you and, and your families. families.